Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be going through how to delete all your voice recordings from your Amazon Fire Stick device and actually some other devices like Echo devices if you want to as well. I'm going to show you the multiple different ways to do it and the way to make sure it stops and doesn't store your recorded um, history as well. Okay, we're going to do it all in one video. So before we do that though, if you can, if you're brand new here, do remember, hit that subscribe button for us. Check out the channel. We've got tons of videos for your streaming, whether it's setting up a Fire Stick, whether it's turning settings off, whether it's all the applications you need, check out the videos. And if you're a regular watcher here, do remember to follow till the end and drop us your thoughts underneath. Apologies for the lack of videos over the last few weeks. I'm still under the weather, not feeling my greatest, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll be back up and running as soon as possible with regular videos. Okay, so what happens is every time you push down that blue button, you speak to your device, you ask it to do something, it records you. This means it is listening to you. And what happens is they store those recordings and they can use that to either sell to third parties, train your device, and for ad preferences, okay? So what you can do is delete them. You can delete a few on your device itself. You can say, delete my voice recordings. Okay, I'll delete any recordings from the last 10 minutes. And there we go, it's gonna delete for the last 10 minutes, okay which are delete for the last 10 minutes, or obviously you can ask it for delete my recordings for today, but you have to turn that setting off. Not all of you can do it. And how do we do this? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we actually have to go to amazon.com or amazon.co.uk or whichever Amazon website you use. And on your Amazon website, you need to go and find your registered devices and preferences. So I'll go slowly on this bit. So when you're on this website, up in your accounts bit, where you would have all your options, you would go down, you normally have your orders, your account, and everything like that. You do have an option, which is manage your content and devices. You're gonna click that one, and you'll get to your content, which will show you all the apps you've ever installed from Amazon themselves, music, etc. But there's an option, which is devices. Okay, we're gonna start here to start with. In here, you can click on your Fire TV devices, your Echoes, or your other devices. Ideally, we're just looking at Fire TV devices today. As you see, I've got a lot. <laughs> way too many. Most of these are just in a drawer somewhere. We've done way too many over the years, but as you see, I've got a lot. Um, this is the one I probably use the most, which I'm actually filming on now, I believe. Um, that's in my kitchen. That's in my... Uh, I believe that one's in my front room. No, that one's in my front room. I don't know. So many. I don't even have free cubes. So it's really confusing. Someone's probably using my account somewhere. Anyway, so you click on it. And what in here, you have the option to deregister or delete voice recordings. So that says that one's offline. So it's not the one I'm using currently, but I'm gonna delete the voice recordings. So anything it's stored is not on there anymore. Let's see if we can find the device I'm using. Uh, that's a 4K Max. Oh, that's the second gen. Okay, so it's not that one. It'd be this one here. Okay, so this is the one I'm currently using. It shows you your free space, your remote connected, other remote connected, free remotes connected. Um, you can trade it in if you want to but you can also delete those voice recordings. Deleted, and that is how you do it, okay? Quite interesting, you actually get a bit more information here than you used to. Um, you can restart your device if it's frozen up um, from the website as well, which is quite interesting as well. Never done that before, but we're gonna have a look at that on another video. Okay, next up, you can actually look at your privacy settings as well. If you click on privacy settings, you can click on Alexa privacy, and in here, you can review your voice history, Okay, so you can review it, and in here it will tell you what's been said to it over the last days, all your echoes that is. So that's me uh, talking to the car. That's my son speaking to his bedroom, all different devices. Okay, and in here you can delete all recordings from today. So I can delete everything from today. But really, you want to click on where it says manage your Alexa data. In here, you can enable deletion by voice. Okay, when enabled, anyone with access to your... Alexa devices can tell Alexa to delete voice recordings from your account by saying delete what I just said or delete everything I said from today. So you can delete that there. And you also get the option straight underneath here to don't save any recordings. Okay, so if you click on don't save recordings or choose how to save long recordings, how long to save them, you cannot delete or save till you delete them three months or 18 months. I have mine on don't save any recordings. Confirm on that one as well. Then you can save history until I delete it. Delete sounds history shows events that you have opted to have Alexa detect, such as the sounds of smoke alarms, carbon monoxide. Again, that's up for you. That one's all security wise. It's more your voice recordings I'd recommend turning off, okay? 
So you can turn off use of voice recordings. Training Alexa with recordings from a diverse range helps us la di da di da Allow Amazon to use the messages you send with Alexa to improve Scram's accuracy. I don't like any of that stuff turned on. I turned it all off. Again, this is your choice. You've got voice purchasing. Again, I disable. Um, this goes across all Alexa devices, but again, that's a preference on yours, but I don't like, I would hate to think my kids end up shopping from voice purchasing, okay? And enable deletion by voice. That's the main ones you need to do on there. Once you've enabled that deletion by voice, you can go back and say, delete everything I've said today. You'd like to delete the recording. Would you like to delete the recording everything today. said to me today? Is that, Is that right? right? Yes. Okay, I'll delete them. And there we go. And that's done. And then you're back to your usual device and it's up and running as always. This is just one thing I like to put on there. It's a security option for you. It depends if you're like me and wear a tinfoil hat and you're worried about people listening to you, them selling your voices. If you read a lot of Amazon's terms and conditions, just like all the other applications like Facebook, etc., etc., you know when you talk out loud, next minute, the adverts down that platform are everything you've just been talking about. That means they're selling your information to third parties to use those adverts and those promotions as well for you. Okay. Quickly before we leave, if you are worried about your security online, a good thing to use is a VPN. So here is a quick exclusive offer for you from me, well, from IP Vanish. We are partnered with them and they're offering 81% off for you guys. This gives you ultra fast connection speeds to the internet, verified no traffic logs policy, unmetered devices and bandwidth, safe access to watch Netflix, Hulu, ESPN, etc. Obviously you still need accounts with those streaming apps but this will give you safe access to use them still while you're connected to a VPN, all for the price of $2.49 per month, which is one of the cheapest offers you will find. We will always have the cheapest offer linked underneath for you. So that's all down there for you. If you are interested that isn't a VPN, we would appreciate if you use one of our links. That helps us do what we do. We get a small commission and you guys get the VPN you require. Brilliant. So before we leave, last little thing, if that video was helpful for you, do remember to share it to anybody who has a device like this. Share it to people who have Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, groups you might know on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out all our socials, they're all linked underneath. Plus my website where there's plenty of streaming apps for you as well. All linked underneath, as is that VPN link. If you're watching this video on another platform, come find us on YouTube and then you'll be able to find all the links. Just look up Doc Squiffy on all platforms and you will find us. Thank you very much. I've been Doc Squiffy. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.